Hi, fourth grade. Um, so you've been reading Betsy Holds the Reins. I want to introduce some new vocabulary and some other things to you um, before we begin part three. And I want to start with the Bible verse, Proverbs 27, 17. So keep it in the back of your head when we're going over some of our information. People learn from each other as an iron tool can make iron sharp. So think about that. People learn from each other as an iron tool can make iron sharp. Now, I want to give you a couple definitions of some things. The definition of evaluate is to determine the level, value, or worth of something. And one of your um, objectives in this lesson is to evaluate the supporting character's actions based on that Bible verse. So we're going to determine the level, value, or worth of the characters based on how they're learning from each other, just as an iron tool can make iron sharp. So keep that in the back of your mind. And then I want to give you another definition of the definition of analyze. And analyze, analyze excuse me, means to study or examine something um, carefully in a methodical way. So you're analyzing it. You're kind of looking at it, going, hmm, how does this, what does this mean? Examining it, kind of like you do your schoolwork. You're examining those questions and thinking about what you read or how you can um, connect the, those two things. Um, so you're going to analyze the main character's change in her attitude. You're going to analyze how the supporting character's attitudes and actions affect the main character. And then obviously what I told you about the supporting character's actions based on that Bible verse. So you have six vocab words I want to talk to you, tell you what they are, and just a brief definition. And then I'll give you your directions and that's it for this week. So your words are casing. And then I'm going to read a sentence. Dad decided to paint the window casings after he painted the walls. So casings is basically just a cover of something to cover. Um, your second word is crook. While daydreaming in the hammock, Liz crooked her arm and put it behind her head. Kind of like this. <sighs> You're relaxing. And uh, you'll read that in the story how she uses her arm to do that. Um, and that just means to bend or curve, Okay. The next word is grotesque. Mary thought she would have a nightmare after looking at the grotesque statue. And grotesque means an unnat unnatural in an odd or ugly way. Your next word is miserable. Jane felt miserable after eating the corn dog and the cotton candy at the fair. Miserable means a pitiable state of distress and unhappiness. And your next word is nightcap. The old man put on his nightcap and crawled into bed to get warm. Um, and that was usually a cloth cap that they wore over their head at nighttime a long time ago. And then your last word is pervasive. The pervasive smell of the baking cookies brought Jim inside from the garage. And pervasive means existing or spreading through every part of something. So like a bad smell would... Um, spread through every part of the house. It would just really stink it up. Or it could be something that smells really good that just it's something it really stunk up. Smelling good though, of course. Okay, so you are going to go ahead and read page 200 and 200 and through 202. So 200, 201, and 202 on your own. I want you to be looking for the vocab words and think about how when I said the definition and then how it was used in a sentence, and you're going to kind of use that information and kind of compare it um, to how it's used in the story. And then there's going to be a few questions at the end of the pod that you can answer. I will see you guys soon.